Hey guys, Asper Gaming one here, and today this is a rich people only. Only rich people allowed to watch this. It's quite cold. I mean, I'm in blankets right now. It's quite cold. So number one on this list will go to. Yes, and I know you never heard of this. Well, probably if you've seen Grand Tour, and if you look at Car Buzz or any other website about cars, or if you know Top Gear, for example, you'll know this car brand. So that was why my number one spot goes to Remac Navera. The reason that you should know this is because Remac. What? Because you know, everyone knows Richard Hyman and Top Gear. He crashed a Rimac Concept 1. I'll show you what it looks like right now. Uh, oh, Porsche's gonna help. Yeah. This is what the Rimac Concept 1 looks like. He crashed one of them in, while on a hill climb in Switzerland when they were filming for Grand Tour Season 2, Episode 1. He was, a, he was doing a past, present, future challenge with the Rimac being in the future, a Lambo, Aventador S, the other one, being in the past, and the Acura NSX, which is the third one, being the present. God, it's so cold. So, stats about the Navera. 060 in 1.85 seconds. All-wheel drive. And... Yes. It has 1,888 horsepower. Remember, this is only for rich people. It has, and the price is $2.4 million. They haven't made it yet. It's gonna be made maybe to not tomorrow next year, and if like by the end of twenty twenty one, it's gonna be you can you will be able like to uh, buy it. They'll probably de deliver it to the people who bought it. They're gonna make one hundred and fifty copies of them. Now my second place goes to a brand you may have not heard of. But it's a very good car in Asphalt 8. And you should know that if you watch my videos. Ah! Di Tommaso? If you don't know what Di Tommaso is, it's an Argentinian car brand. Okay. Second on my list is the Apollo Intensa Emotion. I'll tell you what, I'll, sh I'll show you what it, um, oh my god, it's so cold! Uh, it's called, design, what's the language, I'm like, It's called the ten intense emotion. Yeah. So it has 780 horsepower, 6.3 liter, a naturally aspirated V12. People don't care about the people who own supercars. Don't care about this. Bianac. I don't even know how to say it. Hard adjustable suspension. Comes around baits, brakes, LED interior lightning, lightning. Six speed dual clutch sequ sequential manual, and people obviously know this. Rear wheel drive, obviously. Rear wheel drive, no, rear wheel drive. And it costs $2.67 million.
And my third place goes to a brand and a car that's quite cheap, actually. Yep. It goes to Hennessy. The Venom F5 at $1.6 million. This has a 6.6 liter ne Nelson Racing twin turbo V8 with What's the number see on here? Well, 817. No, it's a. I thought it's a. No, well. Yeah, it's a 6.6 liter twin turbo Nelson Racing V8. 817 horsepower. 7 speed single clutch and semi automatic. I know people don't care about it. And it costs only $1.6 million. Oh, and can you give me some stats about the. about the Venom F5? It's just absolutely crazy. It has a 180, it is 0 to 186 miles an hour in 10, in under 10 seconds. That's faster than the Bugatti Chiron. You'll now have to spell t Send, spent 2.1 million dollars because it increased because there's only 12 units remaining. And the projected top speed is 301 miles an hour, but they're gonna do, I think, uh, it's actually nicknamed Fury. They're gonna make, I think they're gonna do a top speed one for it because it's one of the cars competing in the top speed. This is. An exclusive to this video, I will not mention this in any other video. So the Koenigsegg Yesco, this, and the SSC Tuatara, and this is the SSC Tuatara, by the way, and the Hennessy Venom F5, which I just showed you. There's a fourth car in this list. And this. People have heard about this. The Devil 16. 5,000 horsepower. 060 in 1.8 seconds. It is absolutely. It's a 12.3 liter twin. I mean, a quarter-turbo V16. The, on, the only other manufacturers that agreed to put quarter-turbos are BMW with a, seven, with a 7 Series diesel and Bugatti. That is absolutely crazy. It's going to be released in what? 2023 or something? It's absolutely amazing. Oh, back. It has a super lightweight carbon fiber body. And it only weighs, it, it only costs $2 million. And it weighs almost, it weighs a bit more than two and a half tons. Yada yada yada. Just the devil sixty. This is the second one. Yada yada yada. Anyway. Yeah, so But the way, I'll show you what the uh the SSC to Atari looks like. SSC to Atari. Because I may have not been sharing it. Oh, my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! There's an SSC Tour track version with tw 2200 horsepower. Look at it! It's called the Striker. 
It has a 5.9 liter twin turbo V8. But, wait. So the aggressive version has still has 1750 horsepower on the track. And then, I mean, the striker version still has the regular 750 or seven. 1750 horsepower like the regular ssc tuatara but the even more powerful aggressive version increases that by 500 horsepower i mean by 450 horsepower look at it they're gonna make a lot uh, quite a lot of the tuatara And then this is the Devil 16. It's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. It's like, oh, it's just crazy. Look at it! This is the Devil 16. Bruh, 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 bruh. It's mostly meant for drag racing, but it can be, it can be used on the road. Stats for the car: one point eight seconds to sixty, five thousand and seven horsepower. The engine: twelve point three liter twin quad turbo, actually V sixteen. Crazy. It's actually crazy. Literally, it's just crazy right now. Wait, what? There's gonna be a baby SSC Tortora? There's gonna be a baby Tortora. Are you for real right now? This connects a Gagera with 947 horsepower. Yes, it's a conic seg. And is this thing took three seconds to get to 60. That's the same time it takes the 820 horsepower Aston Martin Vulcan to reach 62. And it takes 14.5 seconds for the Agero R to reach, and that thing is 1100 horsepower, to reach 186 miles an hour. Bruh. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 
Do you know? Can I say what the craziest car is? It's the SSC Ultimate Aero XT. It sounds cool. It is cool. The the, the thing can actually go to. 1300 horsepower, but the best one is the TT with with 1287 horsepower. I'm dead right now. Anyway, that'll be it for this video. See you later in my next video, and bye!